This is the MRI Denver fender install for the 2018 Rad Mini. This is the rear, and this is the front. Very heavy plastic, good support inside. I think it's going to do well. It's going to take. Give us some weather protection from Maria when we're riding in wet things. Snow, rain, whatever, mud. She didn't like the look of the full-size fenders. And, and I agree with her. It kind of takes away a little bit of the, the rough looking of the, uh, the roughness looking of the, the bike itself. But these will be just enough to protect her and not take away from the good looks of the Rad Mini. Front fender, I think, is going to be pretty easy. It's going to ride up in here and go over the bolt that holds the headlight in place. There aren't any tricks to assembling this front fender, but a tip would be is that when you're putting the uh, bolts back together, just make them finger tight because there's some adjustability in the front fender, and then also you want to get the headlight mounting bracket as straight as possible as well. And so, if you just firm it up. You don't need quite as many hands to finish that off. Looks pretty good. On the rear fender, this mount, uh, if I had an extra hand, it probably would have been easier, but it also would have been uh, more smooth if I would have just familiarized myself, taking it apart on the bench, familiarized myself with the bracket. But this is where the problem came. These brackets for the rack and the bracket to the frame, they weren't lined up properly. So I had to put a little juice into them here in order to get them to line up. You couldn't loosen any of the brackets and get them to line up. The screws were forced in there with an automated gun in the assembly and I was able to straighten it out and get that fender bracket in there. But uh, this was tough. It took me a little bit of time. It wasn't sloppy work on the part of assembly but it was an issue. Go ahead and lock tight everything and get her mounted. plastic on these fenders, it's a really thick, very sturdy plastic, but it's also a soft plastic. So I'm, I marred them up a little bit, and I'm sure it's going to uh, get marked up over time, but it is what they are. They're molded fenders, and they're pretty awesome. The only ones out there. Take your time. Again, the fenders are adjustable with, with the brackets, so just finger tighten everything, and once you lock tight, it all up and uh, get it set up and you show it to your wife. I got, I got something in here. Was that there before? Yeah. What is that? A lot. Okay. I have this thing now, which I didn't have before. But remember you didn't like the whole big ones, like a mine? Yours is big one going like all the way down and all the way to the front. And these yeah, are, mine is not. These yeah. are cool, right? Yeah, they're cool. But, I can handle that. But effective. They are? Well, you, you gotta stop the rain. I won't it. get the shit on my back for that? No. Okay, great. Or the front. I mean, that looks like a badass bike. It does. I think the fenders are perfect for it, aren't they? Mine is look like very badass. So you get your bag and... Are you gonna change your fender in the back? Your front is fine. You yeah. change See, one this the thing back. slides out. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I gotta work on the slide. Don't, don't worry about it. But uh, I had to paint it black because it came in silver, you know, really? chrome. So I painted it black. Very nice. And then... You can hardly wait to go to Forest Park. This is the final accessory. I think I'm done accessorizing both bikes. I've got all these security uh, accessories on there. I've got all the safety accessories on there. And last week when we bought a couple helmets, now it's just time to wait for the negative 10 degree weather to leave. I'll be out right.